Yeah! So the Bills game might get moved out of Buffalo because they're supposed to get six feet of snow this weekend? <laughs> cool! Sure happy I went when I did. I've heard that they might actually go play in Detroit because they're gonna be playing there two weeks in a row then. Six feet? That's taller than me by an inch! If you live in Buffalo, stay safe! Anyway, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and happy Thursday. I'm all sorts of messed up. I thought it was Wednesday when I got up because I had a video pre-recorded Monday, so give me a minute to snap into reality here. As far as today's video goes, we are gonna be hopping back into my franchise mode. Like I said, you guys seem to really enjoy that and that puts me on board with it. I am all caught up in the franchise mode playlist too. I can't remember if this is part seven or eight, but if you've missed any of it, go to the playlist section in my channel and every part of this franchise mode is there. Couple of plugs real quick. One, head over to gfuel.com, use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. And two, if you're 18 years or older, you can head over to Prize Picks, the daily fantasy app where code Wyatt's World will match up to $100 of your first deposit. But we got news. Prize Picks is going to be moving to six entries instead of five, meaning if you guys want to make a little bit more dough, it is now possible. However, always play responsibly and let's get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in franchise mode and it is Broncos week. Other than the Chargers, the Broncos are probably gonna be the best team we've played so far and they'll be the best team we play probably until the Chiefs in week 10. For those who haven't been watching, I know I'm six and one, but guys, I've played the ass of the league basically every single week so far. And as you can see, our division is terrible. So as far as things to do for the game today, it looks like we're gonna have some heavy rain and we need to make a game plan to stop Russ. Trevor says it looks like it's gonna be raining for the entire game this week and it probably won't take long for the conditions to get pretty sloppy. What is our plan? Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna run the fucking ball. All right, now let's go see what we gotta do to stop Russ. Uh, hey coach, with Russ being able to make plays with both his arms and his legs, it must be tough to devise a game plan to stop him. What's the biggest factor in slowing him down? Take the Bible out of his hands. Uh, limit the pass for sure. Your entire defense will have plus three man in zone coverage this week. Oh, okay, dope. All right, so we talked about the weather. We talked about stopping Russ. Peek at the standings and maybe the stats real quick because you know we gotta do that and we'll hop into the game. So. So the Patriots finally lost. They were the only remaining undefeated team and they are now six and one. That's good. Is there anybody winless? The Steelers are 0-7. <laughs> Good times, good times. All right, Trevor, how are we doing? Jesus, 30th in the NFL, man. He sits between 29 and 32, I swear to God. 1,300 passing yards, nine touchdowns, seven picks, passer rating of an 89.7, and I think he does have like four or five rushing touchdowns too, to be fair. We don't have to check Odell Beckham. Also, Trayvon Walker is out for four weeks for those who missed it, he dislocated his elbow. Meaning the only stat we have to go look at now is James because he was doing really good. And he still is, he is sixth in the league. 88 attempts, 597 yards, 11 touchdowns. But he's fallen behind Joe Mixon in the touchdown race. Mixon's now up to 13. All right, let's get into it. It's time. We're just going to be the uniform the game has prepared for us. Oh, it is howling out there. Look at the rain. You know, I'm actually happy it's raining because half the time it says it's going to rain, it doesn't rain. My God. They want 150 rushing yards. They're going to get 400. There's 10 right there. Just kidding. It was like six. People forget Trevor has wheels! Come on, T-Law, what you got? Hit him, hit him, hit him! That's a dime! I might try passing again. Here you go. This is jab, jab, straight. That's what we're doing. We're boxing right now. Cut ETN. There we go. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown! Let's fucking get it! Oh, good. I have no idea where this is going, and I'm at home, and I have all the momentum. If I had a seahorse for every time this game didn't make any sense, I would have approximately 6,452 seahorses. So the new Pokemon games come out tonight. I know a lot of people are excited. I am. I'm going to the midnight release. Probably going to do my video for tomorrow in advance so I can play Pokemon all day tomorrow. Do the new games look kind of silly? Yeah, 100%. Am I still going to play them? You bet your ass. I know a lot of people are probably thinking like, Wyatt, what does your girlfriend think of all your nerdy hobbies and shit? Guys, you don't understand. The first time she came over here, my office was the first place I brought her. I was like, you need to soak this all in because this is what you're dealing with. Kill him. Kill him. Also, I heard the new God of War is actually elite, like it was supposed to be. I have never played a God of War game, but I kind of want to try it. Do I need to have played the other one in order to play Ragnarok, or can I just play Ragnarok? Also, if Tim Patrick ever catches a pass like that again in this game, someone's losing their job. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my god. There! Thank you! Man, it has been quiet without Trayvon Walker, but Josh Allen finally comes up in a big spot. There, that's a rust throw. No, no, no. Block? Oh, I thought I was going to get it. All right, stick to the ground and pound if we have to. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right, I need that protection, boys. I need that protection. He was held, but he still got it. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe 150 is going to be harder than we thought. Oh, Trevor, you can't miss those, brother. You can't miss those. I didn't have a plan there, and I fumbled the ball. 60 yards with absolutely no sense of direction. Please? Wow, I think we got it. No! What? Cut him. He's done. <laughs> give me that ball, Russ. Give me that ball, Russ. Or just give it to your tight end on a fucking check down. Cool. I just got torched by Jerry, and he just dropped it. Okay, maybe we're going to get a little bit of uh, generosity from Mother Nature now. The water's getting a little slippery. Okay, okay, okay. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, kill him. Damn. Okay, he can't make a kick either. Is the wind coming at our faces? What, what, what's going on? That was like 35 yards. It is Brandon McManus, I guess. Here you go, Trevor. Almost a good play call, but it was terrible. Oh my God. I don't know why I didn't run it. That was horrid. Oh, Russ, what was that? There you go, Odell. Oh my God. All right, we're kicking it. Wait, never mind. I can't see where this ball's going again. Holy shit. Ah, this game is fucking dumb. All right, well, that was a terrible half of football, but it's probably everything you'd expect if you're used to watching a Broncos game. Man, I thought after that first drive, we were just gonna kill him. No, 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 no. Oh no, again. I'm just ready for the big splash. That's that's literally what I'm waiting for in the secondary here. And now Jerry Judy is top 10 all time. I almost got him, dude. Holy shit. I'm just like a millisecond late. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. I refuse to be ass. I am great. We don't talk about that. No fucking chance. No! Wow, dude. Holy shit. Stay patient, man. Just stay patient. Hit your open targets just like that. ETN is so good. Yes, 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 yes. Hang on to it, Evan. No! God damn it! Tried to hit Evan Ingram and I got hit as I threw it. Of course, it goes right to a defender. I just want to have... More touchdowns than I have picks with Trevor, and I don't think I'm going to finish with that. I think I'm going to be like 30 for 30. Can somebody make a play? Hey, we need this stop more than anything right now, otherwise the game is done. That was enormous. I just can't believe Matt Arise is in this game right now. Bitch. 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 Might be the most broken play in Madden that I just discovered, and I don't even care. Bitch. No! God fucking Trevor is such a piece of shit! Get that block, you stupid prick. Yeah! Yeah! All right, we've got a ball game. And I just got fried to a crisp. My God, Jesus fucking Christ, guys! That's game! Nice run, defense! Fuck! You want any chance to win, you need to make a stop right now. I refuse to believe the game would actually throw the ball right there. Oh my god, what? Oh, we just got our asses beat. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm so fucking pissed right now. Just another horrible performance for Trevor Lawrence. Never mind, Trevor's a god. Are you serious? Yeah! Let's go! And I, I just blew it, too. I, I literally didn't even hit onside there. Well, you get for being impatient. Well, that sucks. We're falling to 6-2 and two on the season, but thankfully, like we've seen, our division is absolutely horrible, so we can afford to take a loss. Plus, it adds some realism, even though this made me extremely annoyed today.
Anyway, that's going to be all for this part of my franchise series. Guys, you already know what to do to show support. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my best to post on this channel every single day. With everything I just said, you guys already know the drill. I'm going to hop off and edit this so you can watch it on time. Have a fantastic rest of your week. And as always, I will see you in the next video.